All these were produced by children aged 3 to 19. 105 of them spent 8 weeks learning different art forms. We have uh, principles and elements of design or elements of art. We do painting, we do um, drawing, we do ceramics, graphics, sculpture as well, and then paper craft. We have uh, what I call environmental art, using recycled material to create art as well. And then they do English diction and then creative writing. My special class is the creative thinking techniques. We teach them about problem solving. For 14 years, Biodu Omolayo has organized this Young at Art Children Art Workshop. It's been a wonderful experience, very challenging, but uh, we, we anticipated those challenges and then we, we enjoy those challenges, so to say. Parents trusting with their children. My daughter is here. She has interest in arts. She scribbles, she draws, you know, all around the house. And we wanted to put it to a proper form. And, you know, we found, you know, the Omolayo Gallery. Art is something that I've been fascinated about for a long time. I don't know how to draw, but it's something I'm always fascinated about. And I think creativity is a key part of any human being. So that's why I allow them to be here, just to learn. Having children with different temperaments under the same roof five days in a week has its own challenges. We don't really condemn the children. We only tell the children that what you are doing, anything you do is the best. We don't compare. And we always make them believe that there is nothing difficult. This is the result of their patience and hard work. Why do we always have the exhibition at the end of the program? We are telling the whole world that what we are doing is a very serious business. It's a way of building confidence in the children. If you are able to show whatever you've done to the public, that means you are very confident. If you are not confident of what you've done, you hide it. Secondly, we want the children to make money from their works as well. The children are proud of their achievements. This is a house, and I used paint, paper, and gum. This is a sunset that I painted. I've always been trying to paint sunsets and paintings like that, like landscapes. My first attempt did not work, but at the end of the day, I managed to finish. I like to be an artist when I grow up. Young at Arts has taught me about the basic principle and elements of design, how to draw a human face with proportions, sculpting, ceramics, even creative thinking techniques. My name is Yubi Jola and I'm five years old. And, and this is the work that I did last year when I was four years old. I used gum and papers and marker and I also did so, some other stuff. I did funny faces, triangle, square, circle, and all the shapes, sculptures. I've been doing a lot. And I've learned how to use a pencil and hold a pencil and a paintbrush so that my work will not be scattered. Mr. Amolayo, thank you for all the things that you have done for me and all the papers that you have given me and all the paintbrush and all of the work that you have given me. The title of my work is my favorite bowl and the way I did the work is that I used the ruler to draw all these lines then I put a border line so that I don't paint out of the sheet. I started to draw the bowl in the middle and then I designed it with diamond, diamond shapes. Then, I now started to paint the lines. The program was interesting, and I learned how to paint, and I learned how to do collage, and mixed media. A tree and sunset. I sprinkled um, some papers, and I painted the tree, the, the, the tree here. And I painted here and the background, and I painted the sunset. I learned how to do collage. I learned how to mix some colors, and I learned how to shade and paint. The works are not just on display. They're also on sale. I've already ordered for four of their works. Uh, I think it's quite impressive. Uh, they are very young. and. If they're already being engaged creatively, I'm sure this will go a long way. And when they grow up, they will be able to apply it 
in other ways? It challenges, you know, uh, we adults to see the kind of talents that these children have and how they are able to express themselves fully. This workshop is of tremendous blessing to young people. One of our members was the best graduate student in architecture in Unilag in 2015. She was a first class material there. We've had another one from Dubai. I've gotten messages from the US as a parent calling me and telling me that, look, my children are topping the class, even in UK as well. Some have attended on scholarship basis. Yes, we, we do, because uh, part of our social responsibility to the community. For instance, this edition, we, we sponsored about 13 girls, teenagers from a uh, Akwete community secondary school or so. You know, on Children's Day, we normally run the program free for children from orphanages, homes, and public schools. Parents are impressed. Children are happy. Facilitators are fulfilled. Nigeria gains. I promise to Nigerians, now and in future is the fact that we are creating creative leaders in younger times. When you are creative, that means you are using your God-given talent to solve problems. 